Yeah, you know, after the game, you got a bit of emotion in the changing room. You know, I'm so proud of these boys. You know, we played a top team in the region. We held our own. We had very good periods. I think we played good football. You know, two unlucky goals, shift off a bit, but we need to learn from those things at this level. Obviously, we can't switch off, but honestly, I'm so proud of these guys. Thankful for the fans that come travel for us. And, you know, now we just have to focus on the next game. For us, we want to win that game for our fans, for our country, so hopefully we can make them proud. When you say it was a bit emotional in the locker room, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, any day we know that we're most likely out, out of the group. We can't advance, so, you know, we'll win us. You know, we, we we had our aim to get out of the group, but I think we earn a lot of respect. Uh, a small nation, but I want us to stop saying that now. I want to compete with the big nations. I want to become a big nation in, in the right of playing football. So it, it's a start for us. This is just the build, uh, building blocks for us. We have the Nations League as well. So the next game for us, Nicaragua, is so much bigger than, than it may seem. How do you think, like, if Bermuda were playing 8, 10, 12 games a year on a regular basis, or 10, 12, 14 games a regular basis, how do you think the results of these games start to change? Yeah, I think, you know, playing at the international level, you learn a lot of things. Uh, the exposure of the players, you know, you even have the likes of Jante, who, who's playing in League 1 and League 2. You know, all these guys can get moves into professional environments, which is important. Uh, the more full-time players we have, the more we will improve. And, you know, even the, the players playing in Bermuda, that more exposure playing at that level, it can only help and benefit them. Now, I, I've converted Jonte into a part-time reporter here for Birdies. Jonte, is there any question you want to ask to Skip? Well, Skip, <laughs> <laughs> where do you think the team goes from here? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's important for us to, to build off these performances. Um, we have the Nations League. We're playing Mexico and Panama, more top teams in the region. Uh, I think we're showing we can compete, but now we have to do small things in order to get these, these results. Jonte, you came on the field and you added, I mean, you were like a ball of energy out there. What was going through your mind when you got called upon to, to come into the game? Uh, well, for me, I just knew that, you know, it was it was late in the game. There were tired legs on both sides. And, you know, as a substitute, you want to come on and just give it all you have with whatever limited time you have. And, you know, I felt like I could press well from the front and maybe force a few straight passes and, you know, try and win the ball up high because, you know, you never know what can happen when you just go out there and give it your all. What are you looking forward to in the Nicaragua game? Oh, uh, in the Nicaragua game, to be honest with you, just we know that we're going to have a big support there. And, you know, that's going to push us to play even better. You know, we may, we may not be able to progress from the group, but that doesn't mean we're not taking this next game seriously. Like, we're going to go there, we're going to give it our all, and we want three points.